We're hiking along, and uh, holy cow, cool, look, there's a bear. Uh, I, I, I'm okay here. In fact, I'm gonna get a picture, like, there you go. It's pretty far away from us, so, uh, so some of the stuff I would do is I'd make sure our group is fairly close together. You're so much safer, statistically, if you have four or more people in a group. I would, at this point, you just grab the front of this safety guard and pull it back. I'm Dr. John Gookin. That, that far, oh, sorry. And I'm here with the IBA Bear Conference on Bear Research and Management. The real stuff goes about 30 feet. This inert one with the refrigerant in it goes about 15 feet. Did you get rid of them after two or three years or yeah. are they still viable? Okay, so when I empty 100 cans a year, I would say one in 20 goes about five feet. And it's because they've lost their refrigerant somehow. So you want it pretty handy so that you could quick draw it if you needed it. If you're downwind of the bear, um, and there's and there's a serious wind you've got you have a big problem and, and you'd better somehow manipulate the situation um, so the bear has to come around at least come across the wind to, to get to you if I squirted right now and it was a calm day it would put a cloud out with the real stuff that would almost hit the bear right now okay Okay, and I would just do a, a, a blast like that. Okay, that's enough, that's okay. enough. Okay, okay. so the, uh, the important things are that they rehearse the choreography of pulling the group together um, so that the bear sees a group of people rather than a bunch of isolated people. Um, and at, at the same time, they should be just feeling for where their bear spray is and pulling it out while they're maintaining situation awareness and, and communicating with each other.